Hello everyone, my name is Sutton the Wolf, and welcome back to Necopara, Volume 1. So, we just had a wonderful day at the amusement park and the aquarium, and we're going back, and, uh, we have a bath ready, apparently. So, uh, yeah, choke it up, funny dough, bath's ready. Hmm. Hey, Chokura, Vanida. Aww, they're sweeping. They're little sweepy peepees. <laughs> Mystic. We've done through this song and dance before. Why are you guys dreaming about? Yeah, Master. Yes, yes, I get it. You love me very much. I guess they were playing all day after all. I looked at their sleeping faces while they snored away on the sofa. I haven't had much time for them until now, huh? I knew that they were more attached to me than Shigure, but for the past few months I'd been getting ready to move. I was so focused on myself that I didn't have time to play with them. I'm really surprised that things have gone this far. When I first took them home, I'd never imagined any of this happening. Owning my shop one day, having these two follow after me, and then ending up in this sort of relationship with them. Thanks to them, every day is fun. I place my hand gently on their precious cheeks. Master? Aw, I woke her up. God damn it. <laughs> Why? Why did you wake him up, man? <laughs> Sorry, Chokura nodded off. Aw, don't you worry, your pretty little head. Preparations finished? I'll help too. <laughs> How are you... D <laughs> Whatever, you're sleeping. I finished all the preparations for tomorrow. It's fine, just go back to sleep. I patted the heads of my two sleepy cat girls. I sat them back down on the sofa as they tried to get up. Today was really fun. I'm glad you think so. Chokura is really happy that you remembered. Oh yeah, they did want to. They did specifically say they wanted to go there. Like they wanted to go to the. I, I remember Chokura said she wanted to go to the amusement park, and Vanida said she wanted to go to the aquarium. That's good. That's cool that they actually did that. We said we wanted to go there, Master. Going to the amusement park in the aquarium for the first time was a lot of fun. <coughs> hmm. Jeez, the, all the voice changes really get to me sometimes. We got to take lots of pictures together, too. It'll be a wonderful memory. With a kind and gentle smile, they lowered their gazes as if savoring their bliss. Thank you so much, Master. Chokura loves you. Aww! <laughs> so cute! <laughs> Ah, oh, dang it. Uh, I'm thankful, too. Ah, oh, even you, too, Vanita. Oh, my gosh, they're so adorable. <laughs> Chokura and Vanita laid their hands on my shoulders after touching my cheeks with their soft lips. I had a lot of fun, too. Thanks. Oh, my God, this is too precious. I gave each of them a kiss on the forehead. <laughs> Chokura really loves you, master. Ah, just being together like this makes my heart race. My chest feels warm, master. <laughs> Aw, you being all lovey-dovey. I understand. My heart is racing, too. Glad to see you got an instant blush as well. <laughs> uh, master, my body feels a bit restless. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> I was pressed between two sets of sultry eyes. I'm not so oblivious that I didn't know what they were getting at. <clears throat> Still in heat, huh? They both shook their heads silently. Chokuda thinks this doesn't have anything to do with her being in heat. Chokuda just loves Master so much. <laughs> <laughs> so much that she wants to have sex. Oh my god! All right, be really blunt about it. I was not expecting that. <laughs> I've played this game before. Why did I not expect that? But holy shit. <laughs> All right. Chokuro was taught that she must be modest while studying for the bell test. But is this okay? I don't know. Is this okay? I'm not sure. Chokuro. When I'm in heat, it feels like my body is forcing me to be lewd. But this time, it feels like my heart is making my body lewd. Oh my god. Alright. 
I heard that it's normal to have sex after going on a date if you like them. Um, <laughs> not so sure about that. Where are you getting your information? You love us, right, Master? Right? You love us, right? You're gonna make love to us after our wonderful date, right? <laughs> oh my god. Vanita. She spoke smoothly as she lured me in with her soft and sensual gaze. Do you really think you even need to ask at this point? <laughs> I love both of you. Onto their small, thin lips. I... I... I then placed a lover's kiss. Aw. <laughs> it's just like Master. You're so pretentious, even though you're never honest. They both embraced me tightly in satisfaction. Oh, God! <laughs> oh, shit! Alright! Then let us do you today, okay? Oh, my God. What the fuck? Things I was not expecting to have to say. At least in Purino Party, they, like, danced around it all the time. They're just going for it here. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god. We're going to pay you back. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god, I can't handle this. This is so weird. Oh jeez. Oh boy. Well. Oh, yep. Same drawing. Alright, well. <laughs> god, stop. Oh gosh. This, I'm so flustered. I don't know what to actually... Oh my god. Yeah. Master, were we able to satisfy you? Oh my god! <laughs> Stop, this is not, like... I don't know what you read, but this is not normal. <laughs> uh, were both of us able to act like proper companions until the very end of our date? <laughs> yeah, both Chocoda and Vanida were very cute. There, there. <laughs> That's great, man. I will say, they are adorable, and they are, like... I, I guess I can't say they're doing things wrong. Like, I don't know. I don't really have any proper ways to say, like, oh, hey, I approve of this. But, like, I mean... I mean, doesn't... Like, in this world, it seems normal, and it doesn't seem like they've done anything wrong. So, might be weird by our, by our standards, but, I mean, they are adorable, and I can totally understand why someone would, like want to be in a relationship with them. Like, sure. <laughs> I'm just gonna stop talking now. <laughs> if Master is satisfied, then we're happy. Mostly talking in their sleep, they purred and rubbed their cheeks against me. As I also drifted off into slumber, I continued to pet them gently on the head. We'll take a bath together tomorrow when we wake up. Oh god! Alright, well we're taking steps farther. Alright! I'll wash your hair and bodies and clean you both up. <laughs> Chocolate is so happy. A bath together. <laughs> I'd like you to dry my hair after, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the little sleepy, the little sleepy meows. Yeah, of course. I'll brush it, too. I'm so happy being treated so dearly by Master Nya. The happiness of not only being a house cat girl, but also a cat canyon. As mumbles spilled from their lips, their, voice tra their voices trailed off, making it sound like they were talking in their sleep. I gently embraced both of their heads, whispering into their ears with all my heart. Let's do our best together, the three of us. Yes, Master. Chokura and Vanida. I kind of said that weird. <laughs> yes. It'll be always so fun and happy. It'll be always. I guess that's a weird way to play to put that, but... Oh well. I'll forgive that one. Yeah, we'll have fun. And we'll be so happy. <laughs> ah, so adorable. I made that promise to my beloved cat panions. At some point, I melted into this blissful moment and drifted off to sleep. Oh my god. <laughs> oh dear. Hey, <laughs> my arms are going numb here! <laughs> oh god. Oop, got a little hair on my... That was weird. 
What the hell? Did I miss something? Oh. What the hell? Oh, alright. Well, I guess this is what was said. It's from overwork. For now, you need to let your body rest. When you said Nisama seemed odd, I flew over here to see what was... What the hell? <laughs> alright, well... What? Are we on our deathbed or something? Oh, Nisama. Just what am I supposed to do with you, for heaven's sake? Sitting next to the bed, Shigure let out a big sigh. Overwork? What's that? More formally, it's called chronic fatigue, but... To put it simply, it's what happens when your body's too tired. Well, I mean, that's a pretty simple way of putting it. I think chronic fatigue is a bit worse than that. But he was so energetic up until yesterday. When you become overtired, you can actually stop noticing how exhausted you are. That's actually kind of true. That's happened to me before. You know when you're, like, on vacation and you're, like, really, really, like, having a really good time and so you don't actually realize that you're, like, going around all the place? Like, I, I remember in Seattle, um, the first day we got there, we just wanted to see the city. And so we, like, walked all day. We, like walked all over the place we took tours we went up we went in, like all these different stores and like we were fine whenever we were there but like whenever we decided to go back to the hotel like it was such a hassle because we were whenever we were on our way back we weren't thinking about like the stuff we were going to do anymore and so we were like just ridiculously exhausted and we all went to bed at like seven <laughs> that and i think the time the time zone changed a bit whenever we went there so it was weird plus daylight savings time so this you mean if you get too tired, you become energetic? Then... Uh... <laughs> oh my god, did we overdo it during sex? Is that what happened? <laughs> For the record, it's not what you two are thinking. <laughs> Just what are you saying Chokin is thinking about? <laughs> I think it's the fault of the person who causes misunderstandings. Oh my god. <laughs> Shigure's like, oh my god. <laughs> now, now, we can discuss Nisama's prowess later. Oh my god. Jesus. We have too much prowess! <laughs> oh my god. But for now, we should get him to a clinic. Wait a minute. What was that casual little remark just now? Nisama, I said I love you. It was just my usual whisper of love. <laughs> oh dear. Our sister is into us. And that, that's like a lot less okay. What? Some fatty tuna fell out of Shigure's sleeve. Fatty tuna! Yeah, it's super fatty tuna! Why is there fatty tuna? Uh, oh my, please excuse me. Just, why did you bring that fatty tuna with you? She's clearly ready for everything. The two drooling cat girls behind her are ready for everything and anything, too. Ugh. Do I have no choice but to stop hiding things from Shigure? In all seriousness, though, depending on how bad he is, he might need to be hospitalized. Oh shit, is it that bad? It doesn't matter how young you are or how much stamina you have. Chronic fatigue destroys your ability to recover. Alright, now we're actually talking about how actually bad it is. Hey, don't make a fuss just because I can't get up. I'm not going to close the shop just because I'm a little dizzy. We're at a crucial time in our clientele increasing it all. Forget the store. If you keep this up, you could die, you know. Well, I've never seen anyone die. Of, I've never heard of anyone dying of chronic fatigue, but I guess it would be possible. Ah, die? If you die, the bakery will close forever. Do you really want that? Oh, I cut her off. Whoops. Master, you can't die. You absolutely can't. No, I'm not gonna die, Chokoda. Don't cry. Oh, oh Vanita, no, I never see you cry. It's oh god, no, stop. I don't want to be a widow cat girl, Master. You can't. She was angry. Shigure was clearly angry. From my experience, Shigure was at her most upset when she smiled while angry. She's not smiling, bro. Even the cat girls themselves seem pretty serious, too. You guys say the scariest things sometimes. 
I'm merely stating objective fact. Well, it's fine. Once Nisama's departed this life, I won't be far behind him. Whoa, what? She said that without missing a beat, smiling as usual. Please stop with jokes like that. Yeah, don't kill yourself. Now do you understand where our concern is coming from? I guess. You'll get some rest then, right? Or would you prefer to be forced into an ambulance? At my vague reply, her face started getting closer and closer. The pressure from her smile was terrifying. She is not smiling! <clears throat> I guess she was early on during her sentence. Oh well. At this point, I didn't seem to have a choice. Got it. I'll be a good boy and get some sleep. It's definitely better than being hospitalized. That's right. I like it when Nisama gives in to reason. Ah, oh, jeez. Although, when Nisama doesn't get in, that's... Give in, that's a good... <laughs> oh, God. When Nisama doesn't give in, that's good in a way, too. Oh, my God. I thought you said you'd be over this by now, Shigure. Cut it out. I already said I'd be good and get some sleep. Shigure gave a satisfied nod at my answer. At least for today, I'd give in. Plus, it was true that I couldn't really work like this. Yeah, oh, boy. Who's gonna run the store, then? Oh, I guess we closed up the shop today? Master, are you alright? Master, you alright? Ah, Yeah, I'm fine. There's no point in making this much of a fuss. Oh, that's really... Uh... <clears throat> what? And that's good. What? I am confused. What are you two moaning about? <laughs> what? It's not like that! This is normal behavior for a cat girl. <laughs> what the hell? While Master is in pain, we'll yawn and stretch back. We'll stretch to relax and keep you. <sighs> oh, are they yawning? Oh, I guess they're yawning. Well, I wasn't really going to say anything. Don't worry about it. Their long strings of yawns were surreal. I guess it was pretty calming. I felt some muscles loosening up. It was like some sort of tension was draining from me. Chokura, Vanida, could you close up shop for me? Yes, leave it to Chokura. <gasps> we're used to doing normal work tasks. <sighs> <laughs> oh dear. Why are they so tired? Cat girls have some interesting behaviors, don't they? It's easy to remember that cat girls really are just cats when you live with them. Oh my, live with them. How brazen of you. Is it brazen? Brazen? I don't know. I don't know how to say that word. Play off, would you? Well, you're not even strong enough to retort something back at me? Stop. That's Vanita's face. You cannot own that face. You're so persistent. It's because I love you, Nisama. Yes, you love me and you want to have my babies. I get it. I'm, it's not happening. I really can't understand her definition of love. It's been like this ever since she was born. That's a bit weird. <laughs> All joking aside, though, why did you push yourself this far? You of all people should know your own body's limits. You said it yourself that if you get too tired, you don't notice it, right? No? You should have noticed before that. Don't try to evade the question. This is really sad music going on in the background. Like, jeez. Oh. Uh, I guess it's not... I guess it's kind of sad. It's just, like, really emotional, I guess. She sat up straight and stared at me intensely. We waited in silence for a while, yet she still stared at me without budging an inch. Seeing her persistence, I decided to give in and surrendered with a sigh. It's because I thought that I had to work harder. I murmured that, leaning my head back on the pillow and looking at the ceiling. Recently, I went on a date with Chokoda and Vanida. It was then that it struck me. They're not just pets, but family. Lovers, even. So I didn't want them to have to work hard because of my choice to leave home. Which will happen anyway if you push yourself too hard and collapse. Well, it's your own fault our clientele increased so much. Oh, just what might you be talking about? I decided not to press farther. 
Shigure smiled, smiled slightly and tilted her head in response. She was going to address that issue honestly. She would have already done so by now. That's how Shigure's always been. I understand what you're saying, Nisama. But cat girls are clever. Clever enough to become family and even lovers to humans. Oh boy. And that's exactly why. Yeah, I mean, no matter who they are, like, they're, they're gonna find out. Like, if you're pushing yourself, then what- if they, they know you better than anyone. Like, Shigure and then Vanida and Chokura, with the exception of, like, maybe their parents. Like, Shigure and Kasho's parents. Like, Chokura and Vanida would know them, would know him really, really well at this point. Like, they spent their entire lives with him, pretty much. So, like, of course they're gonna know. She took a deep breath and looked at me with a kind of troubled smile. I think there'd be a feeling of sadness to not be relied upon. That's also true. Like, I, I know... Oh, just hit my camera. Awkward. But, in all seriousness, there is, like... It, it sucks to not be relied upon, you know? Like, you all, whenever you have a, a good friend, for example, like, I, I like to think of friends... Not just as, like, people you get along with. Like, that's not a friend. That's an acquaintance. Like, someone you just talk to every once in a while. Like, that that's an acquaintance. But, like, someone you actually, like, hang out with all the time. And you, like, you open up to. You trust them with your secrets. Like, that's a friend. And, like, people who are at, like, that friend level and beyond that. Like, I, I mean, it sucks to not have it be reciprocated, you know? Like... You're making someone your friend by trusting them, by, like, telling them secrets, by, like, t like trusting them with tasks, or, like, telling them important information, or, like, just even being, like, oh, hey, make sure you remind me not to, like, forget this later. Like, if you're willing to actually put yourself at risk, in a way, in someone else's hands, like, that, that's... That's relying upon someone. And it feels good to be relied upon. And so, like, whenever you're not relied upon, like, if... If you're relying on your friends all the time, and they're not relying on you, then you feel helpless. Like, it, it, it's this feeling of, like, what am I doing? Like, I'm being so nice to people, they're trusting me, they're confiding, like, I'm confiding in them all the time, and... I'm, like, having them do all these things for me. But, like, it's it's not going both ways. I'm not doing anything for them. Like, what have I done to deserve this? And so, like, it, it really is hard whenever you're not relied upon by your friends. And so, like, I, I know a lot of people like to be selfish and be like, oh, it's fine. Like, we're good. I don't need to... I don't need them to rely on me. I can handle everything myself. But, like rely on people like it it helps it helps build yourself as a person and it helps build other people like it it's so depressing to not be relied upon all the time like it not all the time obviously but like it's so depressing to not ever be relied upon like if you're just living your life like without anybody asking you for anything or if nobody's like trying to get your help or if no one's trying to like confide in you like you'll feel, like, useless. Like, on one side, you could feel, oh, hey, I'm doing all of this stuff for everyone else. Why is it anyone, like, like, y like, you want to do things for other people, but you I'm getting kind of mixed up here. The point is, like, it, it sucks to, to feel like you could do more. Like, that's what I'm trying to get at here. It really, really does feel terrible to feel like you could do more for someone that you care about. And so, like, that, that, if anything, that's my message to you guys this episode. Like, it really does make someone's day when you rely on them. Like, not necessarily, like, all the time you should do it, but, like, you need to have some kind of self-subsistence. But, like, it really, do, it really does mean a lot to people whenever you can rely on them. And, and whenever you can, like, confide in them, trust them with something. And so... It's really important, I think. So, <laughs> sorry guys, I got uh, 
kind of deep there. <laughs> oh boy. Her smile stabbed at my heart. Those were words that Chokoda and Vanita would say about me. No, I'm sure these were Shigure's words too. Her smile pierced me and my words were trapped in my throat. Which isn't to say I don't like seeing Nisama working hard and taking things in stride too. I wish you'd say that I'm worthy of being relied upon. See? What did I just say? People like to be relied upon. Do you think someone who pushes themselves until they drop can't be relied upon? <laughs> oh, Nisama. You've always tried to do everything yourself, even when you were little. She spoke as if she were indulging a, a child's tantrum. Sitting next to me, she placed her small hand on my cheek and ever so slightly closed her eyes. Her slender, small hand's warmth was so gentle and loving. The stiffness in my shoulders seemed to melt away. No, uh, I'm sorry, that's my phone. Uh, she looked at her phone and furrowed her brows. When Shigure just sat there motionlessly, I could pretty much figure out who it was. It's from home, right? You should answer. I don't need to answer to know what they want. I left without saying where I was going. Shigure! Huh. <sighs> The cell phone in Shigure's hand stopped ringing. Shigure fell silent, gripped the cell phone tightly. Is it because I'm still a young girl? Or is it because I'm naive to the world? Is that why I must do what mother and father ask of me? I want to be here. When Nisama's suffering, at the very least, let me be by his side. To be with him as a little sister. As family. Is that not allowed? She spoke in a lonely, frustrated voice, with her face downturned. Her voice sounded soft, but it was filled with a firm desire. You're so silly, Shigure. Who cares whether you're allowed to or not? Nisama. I sat up and I wrapped my arms around Shigure's shoulders. Shigure let herself rest on my chest. I promised I'd look after myself and I will. Plus, Chokoda and Vanida are here, so the three of us will be fine. You said that earlier yourself, remember? I whispered as gently as I could near Shigure's ear. For her to be at so attached to me, it honestly made me really happy. Like, okay, yeah, real quick. I, I give Shigure a lot of shit. Like, she's an incest character. She wants to do the dirty with her brother. But, like, she cares about him. Like, I can't fault her for that. And, like, this, this right here, this is a really good scene, I think. And so, like, don't take it seriously whenever I, like, get on Shigure's case. Like, I don't hate Shigure. She's a, she's a good... She's, she's got her developments, and I, I really, I do appreciate what they've done with her. She's not my favorite character, but, like, she's a good character. And I, I, I don't, it's not that I dislike her. It's exactly why. I didn't want Shigure to be as clumsy as I was. The fact that Shigure was still a child, and that she needed that family of ours. She didn't need me leading her astray. If they found out you came here, you'd never be able to come back, right? I couldn't bear it if that happened. Really? Of course. Why would I lie about that? <laughs> what a very Nisama way of persuading people. <laughs> Her small shoulders shook happily. I probably didn't have to tell my precocious little sister, but she still gave a small nod at my words. I'll come again tomorrow to make it up to you, okay? Because I'm the only person that can take care of Nisama. Ah, dang it, I cut her off. Okay, just please don't go overboard. She hugged me tighter and placed her cheek on my chest. Shigure was the same as Chokoda and Vanita. Keeping those words to myself, I hugged her back. <laughs> <laughs> and scene. <laughs> Alright, well, that's gonna do it for this episode, guys. I think it's gone on long enough. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you can, guys. All this stuff really does help me out as a YouTuber, and I love hearing what you guys have to say. Sorry I keep going on these, like, really emotional, deep tangents. Like, holy shit, I've done that, like, once per game now. But, whatever. I don't, I don't mind doing it, and I hope you guys don't mind putting up with me. 
So thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you guys next time on on uh, almost said a different game on Necopara Volume One.